How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to do a product review and comparison. For some people, using a lacrosse ball pre or post workout to massage kinks in your legs, chest, abs, back, arms or feet is a godsend. I know from personal experience that rubbing out the soles of your feet with a lacrosse ball prior to a run makes it feel like you're stepping on pillows. What if I told you that there was something out there that could provide even greater therapeutic effect than a lacrosse ball. Enter the vibrating massage ball. A vibrating ball designed to do everything a basic lacrosse ball can do, but also provide similar effects to that of a massage gun, such as increasing blood and lymphatic flow, decreasing muscle spasms and stiffness, breaking up of scar tissue, and improving lactic acid clearance. I was able to find some research investigating the effects of vibrating massage balls. Long story short, the ball did cause a noticeable decrease in neck and shoulder pain. But truth be told, we don't really know how effective of the vibrating massage ball is in comparison to simpler and cheaper alternatives. So with the help of somebody very special, I am going to review and compare the effectiveness of a $2 lacrosse ball to that of the $200 rub ball vibrating massage ball from a scientific perspective. Quick disclaimer before we get started. I am not being paid or sponsored in any way to review the product featured in this video. This information is presented in good faith and is based off of scientific literature, personal experience, and opinion. I make no warranty of any kind regarding the accuracy, adequacy, or completeness of any information provided in this video. With that out of the way, let's unbox and test the vibrating massage ball. The Rub Ball Vibrating Massage Ball was shipped to my address in less than a week via DHL Express. It came with a charging cord, user manual, and the actual ball itself. No fancy case or supplemental tools were provided. The ball itself does have some mass to it, 2.2 pounds to be exact, and is about 5 inches in diameter. Significantly larger and heavier than a lacrosse ball. The surface of the ball is mainly plastic, but there are some rubbery areas which I assume are in place to prevent the ball from slipping away when it's turned on. The power switch is located here, and there are three different power settings you can choose from. Charging the ball is easy and sits nicely during this process. They recommend fully charging the ball before using it, which is kind of annoying, but keep in mind that the ball did come somewhat charged already, so if you can't wait to use it, you don't have to. Overall, a pretty uneventful unboxing experience, but the product came on time and as advertised, so I would rate my unboxing experience 3.5 out of 5 stars. Now that the ball is fully charged, let's see it in action. So before I turn this guy on, I wanted to show you guys the relative size difference between these two balls. As you can see, the lacrosse ball, I can almost fit my entire hand around, whereas the rub ball, I can barely get halfway around. I've used the lacrosse ball several times before to relieve tension and remove kinks in various areas of the body. I'm gonna jump right into this rub ball here. So to turn it on, you just kind of push and hold it, and then it lights up, as you can see there. And then when you push it once, it should vibrate. So let's see what happens. Well, there you go. Kind of neat. So I don't know if you guys can actually see it vibrating, but that's kind of cool how that works. What happens if I turn it on a higher one? It kind of moves in my hand. All right, enough dinking around. Let's, uh, let's put this to work and start off with the hip. So this hip right here has been a little bit stiff. So let's give her a shot. Stick it right under the butt. And put it to work right there. I'm getting that kind of deep trigger point massage feeling while at the same time feeling some vibration. The vibration isn't really that intense. To be honest, I feel just more of like the pressure from hitting that one particular spot. Maybe if I turn it up a bit. Let's put it on the high setting. Let's jump right into it. Ooh. So I'm definitely feeling that deep massage and you know, I'm not gonna lie, the vibration definitely adds a, a different element to it. Let's stop for a second and see how that, uh, whew, see how that feels. Woo! Yeah, kinda nice. All right, so I think I'm gonna try the calves out now because I have super, super tight calves. I do a lot of running, gets in the way of my uh, major lifts like cleans and squats and in some cases deadlifts. So let's, uh, let's give that a try here. Let's put it on here. I don't notice a significant difference between rolling on this and rolling on a lacrosse ball. Just to, just to back that up, I'm gonna try rolling one with the massage ball and one with the lacrosse ball to confirm it. Actually, I might take that back. You know, I can definitely feel that lacrosse ball working and breaking up some of that fascia and connective tissue, but I feel like I have to put a little more pressure on it and, and move around a little bit more to get that feeling, whereas this massage ball, 
I just gotta stay still. Once I hit the spot, the vibrations caused by the ball basically do the work for me. Ooh, yeah. On this leg here with the lacrosse ball, I'm probably at about like a four. Here I'm at about like a six and a half or seven and I'm doing basically the same thing. So definitely, definitely a noticeable difference there. Okay, let's stop with that. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Definitely feeling something there. All right, last but not least, we're gonna try the feet. I liked the comparison between the left and right side. So I'm gonna do that again with, uh, with the feet here. I'm gonna get the lacrosse ball and I'm gonna massage the left foot out a little bit, just like what I normally do. And intensity wise, probably about a five and a half or so. So if the lacrosse ball is a five and a half out of 10, might be maybe a six, not a, not a significant difference. That was exciting. All right, I think I've seen enough personally. Comparing the two, this rub ball definitely gives you a deeper massage than your standard lacrosse ball. Is this worth a hundred times the price as a simple lacrosse ball? I would say no, but that's just my opinion. I'm kind of curious as to what the lovely Lauren has to say. So let's go ask her. So, I need your help with something. Yeah? You've played and tested with this before, right? Yes. What do you know about it? It's a lacrosse ball. Yeah, what does it do? You roll on your muscles when it, when they're sore. Have you seen this before? I've heard about it. Yeah, what do you know about it? That it vibrates. I'm gonna have you <laughs> test both of them out for me and you're gonna tell me which one you like better, okay? Okay. Cross one foot over the other, like that. Okay, and then I want you to stick the lacrosse ball underneath your left butt cheek. Yep. And then you're gonna roll on it. Okay. You want a good massage? Uh, I guess. <laughs> nice. <laughs> gluteus medius. Yeah, okay. a little bit. Now I want you to try it with this guy. I'm gonna turn you on the lowest setting first. Okay. okay. Take that and do the exact same thing and stick it under your butt. Okay. I mean, <laughs> feels good. <but laughs> Does it feel better than the lacrosse ball? Yes. The only thing that I have to say is that it's like, like I said, off the ground a bit more. You'd have to have upper arm strength to like hold yourself. Can you push the button on the ball? Is that possible? Push it once. This one? Yeah, push it once. God. It's like <laughs> okay, and then push it, stick it under your bum. Exactly oh my God, right that's there. scary. <laughs> Better or worse or same? I feel like my cheeks are shaking. <laughs> I'm not discomforted at all. It's just different. It's strange. Oh, it actually feels really good. <laughs> you gonna give it back to me? No. Oh. That ball normally retails for two hundred dollars, so it's a hundred times the price of a cross ball. Do you think that it is worth basically a hundred times more than a typical cross ball to massage out your glutes? Honestly, yes. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Lauren approves. Yay. So there you have it. Two different reviews on the Rub Ball Vibrating Massage Ball. If you want to pick one up for yourself, enter this discount code at checkout to save 10 bucks. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay strong.